Okay, here we go. Hi, my name's Tom. It's getting a bit cold at night and it's time to put a wood burner in this caravan. Some of the tools we're going to use are the drill, a jigsaw to cut a hole in the roof. We need to put, make a base for the wood burner to stand on, so we're going to use some tiles and make a cement base. Heatproof cement for the chimney and basic tools basically. The most important part about putting a wood burning stove in a caravan is making sure you've got one of these handy. Also we've got the smoke alarm, we're going to put that in as well. It can't be safe enough really when it comes to caravans and wood burning stoves. <laughs> Get it a little bit nearer the doorway. So I've got these tiles. I want this to be as level as possible. You don't want the wood burner wobbling around on. Clean these up a bit now. It's looking suitably rustic. What's important with these stoves is that, that the chimney isn't too close to this wall because that's obviously a fire hazard. As a little bit of extra safety, I'm going to put this one six inches away. We've got this hole here, it's so we can screw it to the to the base here, so it stops it moving around. So this is the heat sink. It's going to go behind the stove like that. So I have these little spaces. We're going to put that between the wall and the heat shield, just to bring it a couple of centimeters away from the wall. I'm going to have to mark the holes and drill through to the outside of the caravan. So. So he's going to go straight out through the wall. When I screw the nuts on, that will automatically squash it all around the out. That's it. That's the nut. So we're just going to screw that onto there, do it up, and then cut this off. To save having to cut these off, you can actually just buy them at the right length. We're only using those, these because they're hanging around and we're just using old stuff. Right, now I need to find the centre of the flue and mark it on the roof of the caravan inside. The best way is to use a plumb bob. Actually got one, so we're gonna make one. It's very easy, you just get a screw or a nut or a bolt or anything like that with a bit of weight, you tie it to a bit of cotton or string. So if I hold it up to the ceiling like that, it's gonna hang vertically. Bring it up to the ceiling and there I'll have the center of the hole for the flue when I cut the hole in the roof of the flue. Okay, so I'm now gonna drill a hole through there, up through the roof. And that's going to mark the center of the flue, chimney. And here's the hole we drilled from underneath. So that's basically going to go through there like that, okay? We want the hole in the roof to be slightly wider than this, so that the actual insides of the roof here, the insulation, doesn't actually touch this plate. So we, what we want to do is just measure the diameter of this. We, we want to keep the heat off as much as possible. We've got a good centimetre and a half between there and this side of the hole. Okay. Alright, so I'm just going to drill a hole here, here, here and here. So it makes it easy with the jigsaw to actually cut this hole out. And I want to drill on the inside of the marked circle. Here. See, there's a nice big gap around the outside, so it's not actually touching. There. So, first thing I'm going to do is fit that in there. So, I'm going to put some fire cement in there. 
Then I'm going to fix the top plate on. And then the last thing is I'm going to fix that on. Okay, this is fire cement. I'm just going to wedge some up into this gap here. Just don't want any fumes coming out through here. Just putting it extra safe now. So we're going to put some silicon around here, some heat proof silicon. Stick the plate over, and if it's dirty, it won't stick properly. So, just going to dry that off. Okay, this is heat proof silicon, my dear to use. Okay, these are self tapping screws. Got a little gap around here just to stop any rainwater going in there. Rain stopper. Right over there to stop the rain going down the flue. And it's a good idea to take that off when you drive the caravan. So last but not least is attaching that onto the top there. So how's that look? Smashing. Beauty. The dream. Yesterday never had its way, so I'll meet you on 